bienvenidos a Los Ángeles con Laura Tobón. Amores míos, bienvenidos a un nuevo video en mi canal de YouTube. Yo soy Laura Tobón para los que todavía no me conocen y están llegando a esta familia. Amores, estoy feliz de saludarlos desde nada más y nada menos que es de el teatro chino acá en Hollywood en Los Ángeles y bueno les cuento que he venido a cubrir el gran lanzamiento de esta gran película Bumblebee voy a tener la oportunidad de hablar con sus actores con su director bueno. hola y bueno como pueden ver yo no estoy nada lista para el gran estreno entonces voy a ir ya mismo a mi hotel a cambiarme a ponerme bonita y para prepararme para este gran día. Estoy súper emocionada. Bueno, ya estoy lista, ya estoy preparada, ya me maquillé, ya me vestí. Qué pena el despelote que hay en mi habitación en este momento. Pero bueno, emocionada porque voy a conocer a Hailey, a John Cena, a Travis Knight, que es el director de Bumblebee. Y bueno, con muchas expectativas, estoy contentísima porque ¿saben qué? Nos dieron esta entrevista exclusivamente para mi canal de YouTube, entonces espero que les guste. Ok, John, you have a lot of fans in Latin America and Colombia. First of all, hello, Colombia. I hope you enjoyed Bumblebee as much as I enjoyed making it. Ok, John, so you're a TV host. You're a rapper, you're a professional wrestler, you're an actor, and now you're a soldier. Can you tell us how was it doing this role? Uh, uh, it, it was amazing. I think all of those things, every, every one of those things you just mentioned, have to do with telling stories. And that's why I think people perceive them as all different, but I perceive them as really close to being the same. Nice. I, I gotta say, you made me laugh in some of the parts of the movie. Uh, do you enjoy being uh, like the rough guy of the movie or like the funny guy? Me enjoys telling jokes. <laughs> I think that's where I feel my most comfortable. But I also like a new challenge and I also like an uncomfortable situation uh, as far as pushing myself beyond what I think my limits are. Nice. John, can you say something in Spanish? Something in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> For all your Colombian fans. No, no, no. You asked if I could say something in Spanish. Something. Ah. In Spanish. <laughs> See what I Come did Come on, John. Because I'm bringing you back to life. You know that you're gone, but I swear that you're here. It's a feeling that won't disappear. Haley, it's such a pleasure meeting you. Hello, Colombia. Do you know any Spanish? I, I don't. I mean, I do, but not enough. Okay, Haley. Uh, you're an amazing singer and actress. You're so young. How do you feel about uh, starring in a huge blockbuster like uh, Bumblebee? Well, this is, I mean, something I've always wanted and dreamed of. Um, it feels so incredible to play a young female who is driven and smart and passionate and knowledgeable about what she does and what she's into um, and, you know, capable of the world. I think any time I get to play a character of those qualities, um, You know, that's, that's an honor alone. Okay, so you play this tomboyish girl who loves cars. Uh, do you have anything in common with Charlie? Uh, in that sense, not so much. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think she does have other qualities that um, her and I share. Uh, but yeah, she has a love of cars that I can't say I can compare mine to. Uh, I love cars, I love driving, but I, I know not nearly as much as she does. You inspire so many girls around the world um, to achieve their dreams, to love themselves for who they are. Mm. Why is that? Well, I think there is so much importance in just that, and it's something that isn't necessarily easy to learn. Um, but once you do, your whole world can change when you learn the importance of self-love and self-confidence, um, you know, doing doing whatever it is that makes you happy because it makes you happy, not because it makes others happy or because you care about what other people are going to say or have to say or are going to think. Um, I guess it's just, it's about being, being 
you and not letting anybody make you feel like that shouldn't be the case. Um, what was the hardest part about being Charlie? Um, well, I think this role in general is pretty physically demanding, uh, and that is always, when there's that element to something, it's kind of another, it's just another thing you have to think about and prepare for and, and study for and, um, you know, coming to set every day and, and whether it was the driving or certain stunts, I mean, with the driving alone, having to come to set and drive a car and think about, you know, obviously I know how to drive, but it's one of those things where you get behind the wheel of a car and you're like, I have to think about my lines, not hitting anybody in front of me <laughs> and like, you know, making a mark. And then it's like, I feel like I've completely forgotten how to drive this car. Um, that alone was, was definitely a challenge. Okay, quick question. Coffee or tea? Tea. Instagram or YouTube? Instagram. <laughs> uh, fancy shoes, tennis. Tennis. City or beach? Oh, uh, ooh, both? Okay, party or Netflix? Netflix. Uh, Colombia or Colombia? Colombia. Yeah! Okay, <laughs> great. Thank you, Hayley. Of course, thank you. <laughs>